Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2019. I need to make sure I get the right number on the end of that. We are kicking off our first save of FM19 today with LA Galaxy. If you saw the first look video, you will know that we did pick LA Galaxy as our team. For those that aren't aware, I am currently in the Sports Interactive office. They've allowed some creators to come down and record um, some early footage of the game. This is an alpha version of the game, so before the beta is released um, and well before the final game comes out. So if there are any bugs, that is to be expected. I'm here to report those back as well. You might hear in the background, I'm sharing a room with a few other creators, so there's a bit of background noise, notably at the moment from uh, Lalujo. so do uh, please excuse that. But what we're going to do today is kick off the LA Galaxy uh, campaign. I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep this going for. It depends on what I want to do during the beta um, and how this save goes, really, because I may well end up getting sacked, but we'll have to see what happens there. Uh, during the first look, I did go through some of the features of the game, so do go back and look at that if you haven't already and make sure to drop a like on the video if you're looking forward to the FM 19 content and do subscribe if you want to see more from this series and the series to come and of course there are experiments on the way on the channel so definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from that but what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the squad where we need to improve um, I'll then probably go forward to the first pre-season game if we look at our uh, schedule then we can see we've got LA Galaxy 2 then Orange County Phoenix Sporting Kansas City Penn FC Seattle and then Reno 1868 all on the horizon we'll have to play all of those games um, I won't show those games the first game you will see will be Portland in March so that's two months away it's a long way off um, but that gives us plenty of time in pre-season to try and do stuff unfortunately we have no budget 2.3 million budget 3.9k wage budget um, and when we look at the squad it's not set up in the ideal way we do have David Bingham in goal as our number one um, probably easier to see this on the tactic screen this is the way we're going to set up it's a 4-2-3-1 formation we're using the tactical style route one which is listed down here I'm not going to mess around with the player instructions at the moment I want to get into the game and start to play it but this is a way we're probably going to set up going forward so do uh, pause the screen if you want a bit more information on that. I still need to sort out my backroom staff. If we look at the uh, overall screen here, you can see my assistant manager is Dominic Kinnear. Um, he's okay. He's got a decent player ability, which is one of the main things I like to look at. Uh, but he's not actually going to be doing that much. You can see I get paid a lot more than everybody else. Um, but I get paid very little if we compare that to, uh, for instance, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who is actually only on 22 grand a week. I struggle to believe that Zlatan Ibrahimovic is only on 22 grand a week. I think that's probably because of the salary cap rules. It's maxed out at 22 grand, and then they have an allowance above that. Um, and that's part of the MLS experience is I need to get used to the way that this league works. Because if we look at the competitions, go to MLS and then look at the incredible rule system, it goes on for a while. Matches have VAR. Yes, we're in a league where VAR is now introduced to the game. That is good. We're going to see how that kicks on. Um, but these rules are ridiculous. 30 players registered. Roger, roster compliance date is the 7th of March. Uh, after this, players' contracts will be considered guaranteed if player turns 24, blah, blah, blah. Um, and when it comes to salary cap, it's 60 grand a week. Like That's nothing in modern football terms. Um, but we've got our designated players who can uh, top up that, I assume, or go above that anyway, uh, and then designate players that are younger. I'm not going to spend too much time reading this. I'm going to kick off with it, sign a few players who I won't be able to play, and it will be a learning experience. So what we're going to do now is go forward through a few preseason games. I'm going to look at transfers, who we can bring in, what we can do and I will see you in a few weeks time well I was intending to go a few weeks into the future but as you can see I've gone to the press conference screen and it is set up differently we have empty chairs in front of us you would have thought they'd have populated these with a few people um, but it's got the football manager and sports interactive logos in the background there um, and you get this slightly different format setting it up but it also uh, lists your details down the left hand side which is new um, I have no doubt the chairman has his hearts at the club um, they are a massive club 
no reservations. I'm delighted with the facilities. Um, I don't think age is important, and uh, everyone will have a chance to prove they're worthy of being here. I'm going to dip my toes into the transfer order, and then I'm going to review the backroom stuff. Oh, this is going on for ages. This is why you never do the first press conference. Uh, one of the reasons I came here, everybody's at beat. Oh, this is going on for ages. What's going on here? There we go. Finally got that out of the way. But I thought that was an interesting feature. And as we go forward, I will show you these various features that are coming up. So, for instance, if I go forward, you'll see there's this team bonding going on in two days, which I'm interested to see what exactly that is as we just go through the team here the team bonding has now happened we've signed a physio all my backroom staff have signed a new physio uh, and if we go to the dynamic screen match cohesion is poor dressing room atmosphere is pretty good managerial support i don't know if it saves anything about team bonding um i don't know what happened there if we look at the social groups the core group secondary group nothing else there and happiness is fine so i don't know quite what the team bonding does i don't want to do a team meeting um but an interesting addition there that they've added that in now we do have our first friendly coming up i'm not going to uh play this game we do need to add in our training camp squad but i'm just going to auto select that um and here is the first friendly so we might watch the highlights from this just to get a feel for the match engine um if we go forward still not played the game there we go the first game is done here's the first scouting meeting i don't really want to mess around with that post-match analysis we did win one nil zlatan with the goal which is not a massive surprise um we've got the match summary here I wonder if we go to the schedule screen, how do I watch this match back? Uh, view match, here we go. Let's go to pitch and key highlights. And the game is generating. So this is our first look at the match engine. I like the overlay already. The game looks very similar to previous match engines. There's never that much of an upgrade with the match engine. But you can see the ball being lumped forward here. Ball goes over. It's Argueta with the shot just wide of the post there for Fresno. Uh, we're in the darker kit here. Carrarez puts the ball in. It's come down to Johnson and over the bar. Um, obviously, we already know the result, so there's not too much point getting too excited over this. But here is Kaffer comes inside, well tackled. The ball picked up by Smart. Kaffer again goes for the shot, but a good save by Bingham. First half nearly over. We've not done too much here. But there is a goal on the horizon. Bingham sends it down the line, and Leggett has the ball. He's taking it out wide. He's got Zlatan in the middle. He picks him out, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic gets the first goal of our FM19 experience excellent stuff there from Ibra I'm not going to go through the rest of these highlights because we've got other friendlies that we can take a look at and I think I'll probably stick to the goal highlights um, I'm using one of Sports Interactive's computers it's incredibly powerful so this is all going very very smoothly but let's go forward um, and I will drop back in when something interesting happens well, we are now through pre-season, and as you can see, it's been a patchy start to our life in L.A. Um, and we did beat Fresno 1-0. You saw Ibrahimovic get the goal there. We then beat, uh, drew 3-3 with our second team, which is a little bit embarrassing. But Ibrahimovic with three goals in that game. We then drew with Orange County 1-1. Again, Ibrahimovic with the goal. Then we beat Phoenix. Again, Ibrahimovic with the goal. So I've scored six goals in FM19, and they have all come through Zlatan Ibrahimovic. We then drew 2-2, and finally someone else got on the score sheet. It was Jamieson and Chiani who got the goals. And then we beat Penn 4-0, Another hat-trick for Ibrahimovic. So what I said when I set up the tactic of we have to have a target man up front because it's all around Zlatan, route one, get him the ball, get him the goals, and that is exactly what is happening. We did then lose to Seattle, which wasn't ideal, but we then beat Reno 1868, another one for Ibrahimovic, and one for Giovanni Dos Santos. And I'm reasonably happy with the way the team are performing at the moment. I'm really struggling to understand who is good and who is bad in my team. Um, um, now, I'm sure if we have a look here at selection info, we will get a little bit of information, but no, because they're not professional games, they are not showing uh, who the best players are. But if we go to training, um, 
Then we can see the training performance screen, which is another nice feature here. And you can see the highest team training rating. It's actually this guy who's got a 9.15, but they're both out on loan. Then it's Justin von Stieg, but Sylvester just behind him, Lasseter. And as you would expect, it's actually the players who are not in the first team who are putting in the best training performances. Um, so that's not a massive surprise because obviously they're trying to get into the team. Um, but we have got our first game against Portland on the horizon now as you can see there has been no transfer activity I don't want to rush into making transfers because I don't fully understand my team yet um, and I think it's going to take a little bit of time to know how the squad depth is and everything else and because my budget is so small it's hard to just go out there and splurge cash and bring people in I cannot afford a mistake with this budget so I need to be protective of it and we just have to bide our time a little bit I don't know when the transfer window closes I suppose if we go to the competition screen and have a look at their rules then we should be able to see is there anything here on transfers match rules squad registration um roster date guarantee date pre-release see it's difficult to transfer window 11th of december to the 14th of september this seems like there isn't really transfer windows um february to may foreign transfers only I think let's go nuts is my takeaway from this. I'm struggling to understand the MLS. It's going to take a year to actually get my head around it. But what we're going to try and do is get up to where we are, um, get up to the start of the season, which is our first game against Portland Timbers, I think. Now, they're asking me to pick a captain. Zlatan's the better captain, allegedly. Um, or should be the captain but I think we're going to keep Ashley Cole and the assistant agrees with that I don't want to upset the hierarchy too much Van Steeg has picked up an injury um, we're just four days away from that first game of the season against Portland Timbers um, you can see plenty of rubbish coming into my inbox I will filter that out eventually but really I just want to get to this first game I want to see the team in action in a competitive game and see how this new tactic is working with Ibrahimovic up front that is as far as we will go today I'm just going to send my assistant to the press conference for this because I want to get to that first match of the season this is where it really really matters and I've not changed the tactics too much this is very much going in on a vanilla tactic that the game has set up against Portland um, obviously the MLS split into two different conferences um, and if we just go forward we've got a tactical briefing which I'm going to skip and then here we are finally on match day oh, for some reason we're the very last game of the day I assume it's televised given it's LA Galaxy um, and here's the overview screen so this is what you get when you do finally get into a game and um, we've got good odds in this game uh, league position obviously doesn't matter it's alphabetical we are in the Western Conference alongside teams like Seattle uh, Colorado Portland Timbers Houston There's some big teams in here our rivals LAFC as well which we need to keep an eye on but we are the favorites for this game which is not a surprise now if we just do a quick pick on the team they have shifted things around why are they putting Kitchen in defense when he cannot play there do we not have another center back we've got plenty of center backs and he's even reasonably fit he's fit I don't agree with putting Perry Kitchen down there I think that's a ridiculous decision um, Perry Kitchen not too bothered about bringing him onto the bench either to be honest we're just going to give this a go to be honest why hang on we've got grayed out players on the bench what is this why are there grayed out players on my bench is this because we have not registered the team auto select confirm selection go back and then quick pick there we go that's much better so there we go we have an actual team now Ibrahimovic Giovanni Dos Santos Alessandrini Drini on the left Pontius on the right Huzidic and Jonathan Dos Santos in the centre with Skjelvik Romney Steres Felcher and Bingham in goal that's the team we're going for today they're reasonably fit and happy after pre-season um, we need to give a number to Lasseter he's getting number 15 
But here we are going into the game and we do have face pictures because it's the MLS. That is a wonderful little thing to have. You can see Ibrahimovic up the top there, the sexy beast that he is. Uh, Valeri is a dangerous player for Portland Timbers. We need to keep an eye out for him. Blanco is pretty good as well. Oh, they've got Liam Ridgewell, um, who I once saw playing for West Brom in central defence. Um, it's not a dangerous team, this, I don't think. I'm going to say I'm expecting a win. The team have reacted well, but let's get this game kicked off now let's just have a look at the settings there's not too much I want to see um, match information is that all I want no match overview kind of um, match report that's what we want now we've got a highlight already um, no not match report struggling here to find the right thing we'll come back to that later because at the moment Portland Timbers on the attack it's Paredes onto Blanco taking it out to the right puts it in oh and it's a goal for Portland Timbers one minute into our season we're a goal behind on Mentoros with it and we are a goal down at home already um, we're only on key highlights, that's what we're looking at. But you can see Blanco picked up the ball, took it out wide, put the cross in, and Aramento somehow literally walked through one of my players. He is obviously a ghost. He's got the number 99 on. He's obviously uh, not the best person in the world but he has given them the lead and we are a goal down we've got a corner from Giovanni put to the back stick header in saved but Romney squeezes it under the keeper and it's an own goal from Atanella we have managed to pull it back in six minutes in our season has started at a million miles an hour Giovanni put that corner in and there it was, Hustich saved by the keeper. Romney fired it in off the defender, Atinella, not the goalkeeper, who was on the near post. I'm not sure that that should have gone through his legs, but it did go through his legs. Um, and so it remains 1-1. Now we've got another corner. Giovanni puts it in to the back stick. It's cleared out. Huzadic gets there. Little dynamic camera angle. It comes to De Santos. Now Ibrahimovic makes it 2-1. 11 minutes in. We are 2-1 up against Portland Timbers. And Ibrahimovic, our main man, gets the goal. Ball cleared out from a corner to Huzadic. He puts it back to the edge of the area. De Santos unselfishly laid it off to Ibra, who had no one in front of him. Actually placed it quite central but he has given us that lead an excellent recovery from 2-1 down we can see the match stats here we are kind of on top at the moment but there's another throw in here Paredes tackled by Alessandrini but Valeri picks it up comes out to Paredes now Valeri we need to close him down we aren't it's come to the edge of the area oh and that is embarrassing Polo just puts the ball in the back of that 2-2 we're 15 minutes in and there's been four goals already what on earth is this it's 2-2 now Valeri with the ball put it to Villafana and there was Polo just putting it into an empty net our keeper caught well short um, and it is now 2-2 which is not an ideal situation to find ourselves in um, but technically nothing has changed we started at 0-0 it's 2-2 there's been four goals in about 15 minutes, but the game seems to be settling down a little bit at the moment. Ibrahimovic is motivated. It is, I would imagine, his debut uh, for the club. Uh, Romney not having the best time, despite the fact that he, in theory, got the goal. Um, but it is still 2-2 at the moment. There's a few shots flying about, but nothing compared to the start of this game. Four fouls. Um, from us three for Portland Timbers their ratings not that high Polo with a 7.1 Valeri with a 6.4 um, but I'm not too worried about the way that their team's performing um, I mean this is quite a dire game Romney's having a terrible game in defence but given that he essentially got the goal I'm not particularly minded to take him off but at the moment 2-2 two, two, I'm going to tell the team I am not happy with that performance and they have reacted to that I will make some substitutions fairly soon if things don't improve but given the start that we had it's got very quiet very very quickly here 2-2 um, two, two, halfway through 45 minutes there free kick from Ibra and he finds the back of the net it's 3-2 Ibrahimovic with the second goal. Now, if you saw the Football Manager stream um, a couple of days ago, you will have seen that free kicks seem a little bit overpowered at the moment. So having a player like Ibra on it, he didn't even have to get that over the wall. He put it to the side of the wall. The wall were not covering the near post. What kind of defensive structure is that? But it is now 3-2. I'm very happy with that lead. If we can take three points in our first game, then I think we're doing very, very well. Here's Powell. Plays it back to Mabala. 
Ball sent over to Ridgewell. Forward to Chara. Comes back again. Uh, players trying to close him down. He had three around him, but still got the ball. Ibrahimovic wins it back, though. Plays it to Giovanni. We've got a man making a run on the left and the right. Here is Pontius. Plays it over to the other side for Ibra. Here is Alessandrini taking it down the left flank. Puts it into the box. And Pontius arrives for 4-2. We are two goals clear now. This has been one hell of a first game of the season. 4-2 and we're not even an hour into the game. But Ibrahimovic absolutely running this show as you would expect. Ball went into the back stick and Pontius with the header cleared the keeper who probably should have saved that given how high he launched himself. But it is 4-2 and I am very, very happy. The team itself performing reasonably well. I don't know what is wrong with Romney getting a 6 rating when we're playing so well but I am going to make a substitution um, I'm not sure who actually is a centre back, this is slightly embarrassing if we go to our tactics screen then we can see that Chiani is the man who needs to come on for Romney, confirm that sub and then get back in the game so we've got 25 minutes left of this match to see out with a two goal lead now remember I did set up a dynamic tactic if you watch the first look video which means that when we're two goals up we do switch to a defensive tactic so you can see that up here we have changed the defensive from attacking which means that we should be able to see this game out without conceding um, we've got a throw in here with Felcher puts it into Dos Santos back to Felcher again got plenty of players bunched up in the center but nobody making themselves available the ball pumped forward route one Hasidic in at two Giovanni takes it down the left flank three in the box to aim at he's forced wide finds Ebro for the hat trick Alessandrini has tackled him here's Giovanni back into Alessandrini he's looking to put the ball in it comes to Hasidic again this is not Route 1 football, this is Tiki Taka, but Ibra plays it into Giovanni and Hasidic with the world's worst shank as that flies well over the bar. 4-2. After all that build-up play, I was expecting a little bit more. Uh, the team's getting a little bit tired now, so I will make a couple of changes. If we have a look, Ibra, I think, might need to come off. The fans won't be happy. But let's give Kamara a little run around, and let's also give Ashley Cole a little game as well and see if he can get up to anything fantastic. Five minutes left to play here, but it looks like we are going to get our first win of the season in our first game. 4-2, four, four minutes left to play. Mabala hammering it down now in LA. I suppose it is essentially winter. Polo, oh, lightning, that's a great effect. I've not seen lightning before in Football Manager. That was brilliant. Bianco, Blanco, sorry. Oh, and they've got to go back. It's Valeri. We are in for a nervy last two minutes. Valeri there. I pointed him out as a danger man before the game. Blanco took it down the right flank, put the ball across, and there was Valeri to hammer it in for 4-3. And it is now very, very tight. Uh, so one minute left to play on a defensive mentality. Looks like we are going to do it. Bingham puts the ball forward. There's Pontius. Just send it forward at this point. Hasidic, ball tackled there. But there's the full-time whistle. A 4-3 win for us over Portland Timbers. Ibrahimovic running the show today. Um, putting in a really, really good performance. He was the best player on the pitch, no doubt about that. Um, and so a great win to start the season. I am very happy with that, and we can kick on back into the main save. So you can see here, fourth place in the table at the moment. A good start to the season. Uh, I'm going to send my assistant to that. Um, now, if we look ahead at our schedule, we've got NYCFC, Vancouver, LAFC, and Sporting Kansas City. I think we will probably, in the next episode, play New York City, Vancouver, and LAFC. Uh, there'll be the kind of highlights of those games that I talk through. Um, and then after that, because what I would like to do, I only have a limited amount of time here at the Sports Interactive offices. I would like to get through one full season of the MLS if I can. Hopefully win either the US Cup or the MLS Cup. Uh, we'll have to see how we manage to do. But I'm going to try and get to the end of one full season, so I will skip quite a lot of games as I just crack through them and try and get to the end of the year. Um, and then we can start a new save with the beta when that's done. But if you are enjoying this series, do drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe for the other episodes as they come out over the next few days. But until next time, see ya!